The Yorkshire Terrier is a bold, confident character, feisty in nature, but also a loving companion for their owners. As one of the most popular toy dog breeds, the Yorkie has become a very sought after pup for its silky coat and devoted nature. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you all that you need to know about grooming your dog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Yorkie Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir CanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Yorkshire Terrier, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Yorkie. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Yorkie video. So let's jump right into today's video and find out all you need to know about grooming the wonderful Yorkie. The Yorkshire Terrier usually stands at eight to nine inches at the shoulder and should weigh no more than seven pounds. This is the Kennel Club preferred height and weight, but the Yorkie can be inconsistent in size. The Yorkshire Terrier has been admired for its long and silky coat and does need a lot of grooming to maintain the healthy looking straight coat. Yorkie puppies are born black, which develops into a blue and tan coat after a year old. Their coats what make the Yorkies so incredibly popular over the years alongside their tiny size as from the back of their head to the end of the tail is a dark shiny blue their head is a bright gold with lots of tan hairs throughout and the hair falls over their face has the same golden color Yorkies usually get lighter with age and hormonal changes, specifically females when they're in season. Grooming a long-haired Yorkie can be quite a challenge if you're not experienced in this area. If they have a soft coat rather than a silky coat, it can tangle much more easily. If you keep your Yorkshire Terrier's coat short, you will still need to brush them every day, gently to prevent any matting from occurring and to keep them clean. You may wish to take them to a groomer regularly if you don't feel you're experienced enough to do the grooming. If your Yorkie develops any mats behind the ears or the thighs, spray a detangling solution on the area to gently work out the knot with your fingers or comb. You should bath your Yorkshire Terrier weekly to keep their coat beautiful and silky. When washing them, you simply need to wet the coat and apply the shampoo by running your fingers through their hair rather than rubbing it to lift the dirt out. Then you should apply a conditioner in the same way, then rinse them thoroughly. When you dry them, be sure to spray their coat with a light conditioner. Also, apply a light conditioner when you brush them as well because you should never brush their coat dry and dirty as it will break the hair. You should brush your dog's teeth at least two or three times a week to remove any dirt and tartar buildup and any bacteria that could cause illness or infection. Daily brushing will prevent gum disease and bad breath. You can also introduce your dog to dentist sticks which are a great way to keep their mouth and teeth healthy and clean. If your dog doesn't naturally wear down their nails, then you might need to trim them once or twice a month to prevent any painful tears or other issues. If you can hear them clicking on the floor, then they're too long. If you're not experienced in trimming your dog's nails, then it's good to ask your vet or groomer for pointers, as a dog's nails actually have blood vessels in them. So if you cut them too far, you can cause bleeding, which could become a negative experience for your dog. Be sure to check your dog's ears weekly for any redness or a bad odour which may indicate an infection. When you check their ears, be sure to wipe them with a cotton wool ball dampened with a gentle pH balanced ear cleaner to help in preventing any infections. It's important that you don't insert anything into their ear canal and just clean the outer ear as this could also cause damage to their ears and cause infections. In order for your dog to be used to being brushed and examined, you should start this throughout puppyhood. The best way to do this is to handle their paws frequently and look inside their mouth. As you groom them, be sure to check for any sores, rashes or infection signs like redness, inflammation or tenderness. This helps to spot any potential healthy conditions early on. Grooming and regular checkups will help your dog to see it as a positive experience and to not fear any veterinary exams when they're an adult dog. Fill the time with a load of praise and treats and they will see it as a much more positive experience. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Yorkie videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Yorkie Show.